A third view defines robots as machines that can sense, think, and act. By sense, they mean that robots have sensors that can touch or see, that can take in information in a dynamic environment. By think, it is meant that any robot must be able to process information it senses, for example, to figure out how far away an object is or how tightly to grasp it. Then, a robot must be able to act on that information with effectors, robot arms, legs, hands, or other ways of affecting the world around it. This way of defining robots was very common in roboticists from computer science and has the advantage of distinguishing robots from previous or constituent technologies like the computer. The sense-think-act definition seems to work for many purposes. For example, the robot vacuum cleaner, Roomba, moves around a room using infrared sensors. It also has sensors for detecting when it bumps into something. When it does hit a wall, it acts accordingly, avoiding the wall as it proceeds. Thinking of robots as machines that can sense, think, and act isn't without any definitional troubles. Here's a small toy. When you wind it up, it starts moving. When it senses the edge of the table, it stops and heads in a different direction. In a way, this mechanical toy senses, thinks, and acts. But would you call this a robot? Most scholars who promote the sense, think, act paradigm define robots as embodied, physical things that move around and interact in the real world. As software becomes more sophisticated at processing, interpreting, and acting in unpredictable online environments, how important will embodiment continue to be for defining a robot? How we define robots matters to writing good policy, or not so good. The state of Nevada had to rewrite a 2011 law because the definition they used for autonomous cars was accidentally far too broad. It included cars with anti-lock brakes and many other common features within their definition of autonomous cars. While we don't have a universal definition for robot, we hope to have offered a practical way to examine definitions you encounter and to think about how definitions for emerging technologies play out in a policy setting.